Hi everybody, it's Mark here from Illawarra Education Foundation. Today we have another video that is an entry that was an entry to the 2017 National History Challenge run by the secondary history teachers in Australia. The theme for 2017 was making the world a better place. Now today's video is by Jack and Jack was looking at x-rays and how the discovery of x-rays had changed the world. Please like and subscribe and stick around and enjoy Jack's video. Thanks for watching. It's only sprain, but it kind of reminds me of when I broke my arm. I wish I knew about the discovery of x-rays. Can you help me, R2? Huh? Huh? Coming, dear? Where am I? Who is that old girl? Jack, you are in 1895 in Würzburg, Germany. And that old guy is the creator of X-Rays, Wilhelm Röntgen. Oh, okay. I know a little bit about this guy. Jack, you know nothing about this guy. You haven't even met him. Excuse me. I mean that the creation of X-Rays was accidental. And he was experimenting with... A electrical impulses and with a tube filled with gas and invisible electrons were causing some paint to glow. That's right. As he saw the glowing paint, he knew that there were invisible electrons moving across the air from the tube. So he discovered x-rays back then? I mean, right now? Mm. Oh, hello young man, are you lost? Uh, what is this cool place? Well, I'm a scientist and this is my laboratory. Last night I was working with a Torf Crookes tube surrounded by black paper. And there was paper coated with barium platino cyanide nearby. I sent a current through the tube and I put a black line on the paper. And there's no way for the light to come out of the tube because the paper wouldn't let it. I thought I discovered something new. So I decided to call them x-rays. That's super cool. Why don't you try your wife's hand as an example on the human body? What a marvellous idea. I think I will. Thank you, young man. Jack, over the next five years, this discovery was researched by scores of scientists and there were hundreds of research papers written on the subject from around the world. I'll quickly freeze the people in time so you are not seen. Thanks, R2. That was close. Whoa, look at this woman having her shoes fitted with the x-rays. They, they were used to fit everyday shoe size? They must have been really, really, really safe. No, Jack. As scientists learn more and more about radiation and the dangers of overexposure, they realise that the shoe fitting x-ray machines were dangerous, especially for children. Some people were burned and had the bones in their feet stop growing after they were x-rayed. They were only banned from use in the 1970s. I really enjoyed learning about x-rays, but right now I need one on my broken arm. Mom!